Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting problem commonly asked even in Google interviews. And this is also a lead code question. Uh, basically, you have product IDs, okay, and their price changes on a particular day. For example, for product ID 1, the price became 20 on 21st August. And then for the same product ID 1, the price was revised to 30 on 22nd August. Similarly, for product 2, it was 50 on 21st August 2020 and it was changed to 65 on 24th August. Product ID 3, it was made 20 on 24th August 2020. Okay, this is the data. And we are asked to find the latest price change on or before a particular date, okay. So in this case, let me put it as 23 August, right? That particular date. So, and in brackets, you see, if there is no price change data for that product, you know till that date then give it a value 10 okay so our output should look like this for product id 1 it should be 35 product id 2 it should be 50 product id 3 it should be 10 i will explain you why for product id 1 on or before 23rd august what is the latest price change if you see so on 23rd there was a price change and the value was made 35 so for product id 1 it has to be 35 now let's look at product id 2 on 21st there was a change it was 50 but then next change was on 24th so of course we shouldn't consider this so the latest price change on or before 23rd for product ID 2 is this one it is 50 and for product ID 3 there's no price change before 23rd right the latest one is 24th so as you see if there is no price change data give it a value 10 so for product ID 3 we need to show the value as 10 that's what you see here product ID 1 35 2 is 50 3 is 10 this is our expected output how do we get there okay we'll do it step by step okay so first step what we can do so i will take product id okay uh, new price that column change date also from this table uh, and say since we want on or before 23rd august we could put a date filter so we can say change date less than or equal to 202008 23 okay this is step number one so as you see we get these data right but the trick here is there is no data for product id 3 right product id 3 goes missing when we put this condition so what we can do we can put this into one ct i would say with a as okay and since we also want product id 3 to have a default value 10 in the final output we will call another ct okay and here what I will do, I will just select all the distinct product IDs from the original table. So that way we will get 3 as well, right? And put a comma and yeah, second CT we don't need the width, right? We'll remove that. Okay. So basically this code, right? If I run just that part of the code, as you see, you will get all the product IDs. So this is a way to bring back 3 into the picture in our final output. Okay. So these two are fine now just observe what i do so i'll say select b dot product id okay comma so if i use b as the base table right you'll have three product ids but as you see in table number a we had only product id one and two right if i run that query again so you see only data for one and two so what we can do is we can do a left join of b with a so that wherever you know you have product id three we can basically give some separate condition so here i can say so case when new price right is null right so in case of product id 3 it will be null then you can say then 10 but else yeah let it be new price itself it's okay so you can say else uh, a dot new price right cool and uh, yeah Think, do we need anything else yeah we can also get the change date from a now I'll say so from B okay left join a as I said we'll use B as the base table left join a on a dot product ID equal to B dot product ID okay now let's see what we get there's an error okay I put a comma here so you 
you know case statement right so you can say n dash price put a comma and i think now yeah we should be good now you see right so for one we get the data all the change dates on or before 23rd uh, for two we have the data for three also we have the price because we gave this case statement and change date is null that's okay for us okay so now we are here so if you see one has multiple occurrence how do we find the latest we can obviously do a rank right so apart from year or change date let me also do a rank here itself okay so i'll say rank like basically rank over uh, yeah let's partition by product id so partition by b dot product id and i can say order by change date descending right so we get the latest date to have the rank one i will say as ranking let's run and now you see for two there is only one instance rank one three also one instance rank one comes for one we have three instance but as you see the latest date gets the ranking one because we are ordering by change date descending now we are almost there right so we can put this whole thing in a bigger ct i can say with c s and uh, close this okay and now i can simply say select i want product id uh, then what else i want i want uh, price from c and i can say where ranking equal to 1 right now we get it right so for product id 1 latest price change 35 for 2 latest price change was 50 3 there was nothing so we substituted by value 10 here so that's working so you see couple of cte's and yeah just like writing this part so you know we also get back 3 into the output and do a left join a interesting question i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in another video till then take care